Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful gods and goddesses. Aquarius, I'm talking to you, smartest sign in the zodiac. Yes. Hopefully you all are having a happy Monday on today. I know you are because that's the intention you set. Let's get into your reading. Aquarius, let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Get into your reading. Yes, 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 yes. All right, Aquarius, most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful water bearers, gods and goddesses. That would be you, 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 and you, Aquarius, in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality, and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Aquarius? What information do we have for my wonderful Aquarius? My open-minded, humanitarians, creative, free-spirited, intellectual gods and goddesses who are also very powerful, friendly, unique, independent, original, progressive. Yes, ruling planets are Saturn, which is retrograde right now, and Uranus. Yes, 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 let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, Aquarius, let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Shooby dooby doo. Uh huh. Tons of opportunities are coming your way, Aquarius. This is why I need y'all to stay focused. Listen, listen. Okay, let me make sure you all are crystal clear. As a fixed sign, Sometimes you can be fixated on the who, what, when, where, and why, especially when relationships are falling out of range. Right now, currently, as of today, it's a waning gibbous moon, but we're moving towards a uh, new moon, right? A new you, new, 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 new. Always think new, new, new. In a gibbous moon, in a waning gibbous moon in particular, things are gonna fall by the wayside. Relationships may fall by the wayside, and that's everything under the relationship umbrella. It could be jobs, it could be relationships with people, whether it's platonic, romantic, or whatever, right? You got to let it go so that the universe can send you something better, okay? Listen, we have the Eight of Wands right here. We also have the Seven of Wands. Yes, somebody getting their solar plexus chakras in alignment. We have the Two of Wands, right? Mm -hmm. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, money. We also have the Two of Swords, right? You're going to you, take your power. I'm going to show you how to get your power back, right? We also have the Eight of Swords. Yes. Yes, 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 indeed. Okay, so when I look at this, and this is what's happening with you all right now, right? You have tons of opportunities coming your way, right? Tons of uh, opportunities to travel, opportunities to meet, maybe if you're interested in love interest, tons of opportunity, right? That's the fire in you. Some of you all have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius in you. You bring a lot to the table. And what I mean by that, Aquarius, not only are you all open-minded humanitarians who are also creative and free-spirited and intellectual and progressive, original, independent, unique, friendly, and powerful, not only are you that, right? So if you have fire in your chart, you can have Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius in your chart, you're also a very strong leader. You have amazing self-confidence. You're po you are positive energy. You're brave. You're creative. You're courageous, determined, confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, honest. You are passionate. You're generous. You're cheerful. You're humorous. You live a great life. You are a natural leader. You're very kind and protective. You're loyal. Y'all still y'all getting the, the yes, you're getting a gist of what I'm saying. Go and pull your birth chart. There's so much more to you than just your your sun sign. That's your identity, but it could also be your ego, right? So much more of you to tap into. And this is all that you bring to the table. Plus, you're smart. You're a deep thinker. You're honest. You love to have fun. You have a great sense of humor. You're generous. You're very, very caring, right? So again, you have so much to bring to any environment, any room that you step into Aquarius, that somebody would be an absolute fool. And I'm talking about the Aquarius that are vibrating at a high frequency, right? Somebody would have to be foolish or just not in their right mind 
to accept what you're giving. Remember, you're a giver. It doesn't matter if you identify as a man or woman. As an Aquarius, you're divine masculine, right? By default, meaning that you are a giver. So someone who would have to be out of their mind or just out of balance, right? They have to be out of balance not to receive what you're giving. You have to remember at all times, Aquarius, exactly who you are at all times, right? If someone is not on a level of appreciation, appreciating what you bring to the universe, that is a-okay. It really is. But you have to remove your power from that situation, right? You have to. That's why I'm telling you, take the blindfolds off. Take the blindfolds off and see people for who they really, really are. If they don't know what you bring to any environment, to any relationship, a working relationship, which is professional, a romantic relationship, a platonic relationship, it could be family members, friends, whomever, then you have to take these blindfolds off and see it for what it is. You got to be able to see the manipulators around you, the liars, the cheaters, the narcissists. The, the, you got to see all the people who chose to vibrate low because that is a choice. But guess what? When you remove these blindfolds, you're going to also see the good in people as well, right? You're going to see the fellow leaders. You're going to see the fellow people who have amazing self-confidence, positive energy, brave, living a great life, optimistic, right? Loyal, honest, vivacious. You're going to also see those people. So it's a benefit to you to take the blindfold off. There's so many amazing spirits in this world. I don't care what anybody says because in each one of us, we can choose to vibrate high or vibrate low right it is a choice right sometimes you have to choose even choose to vibrate high even in the face of adversity aquarius that's what i'm talking about so you want to take the blindfolds off and now see you looking back at your former self going wow i cannot believe that i had all that junk in my spiritual house i was holding on to this i was holding on to that i was holding i was fixated on the who what when where and why all of that it's, it, but now you see things for what it really is boom and guess what now you also see that you can manifest a great deal of money that's what i'm talking about aquarius and how did you get there through meditation getting your solar plexus chakras in alignment and so one of some of the oils that resonate with your solar plexus chakras in case you all use diffusers or you like citrusy things are like uh, lemon oils, grapefruit oil, um, orange oil. Those citrusy oils actually wake up something in your, your spirit. <clears throat> Excuse me, wake up something in your spirit because it resonates with your solar plexus chakras. That's right where, right on that on, right up under your breastplate where your power resides, right? Yes, and so things are moving quickly. Opportunities are coming to you quickly. New love interests are coming your way, if that's what you want. But you have to do the work, Aquarius. The work that you have to do is to declutter. Right now is a perfect time. We have four planets that are retrograde right now, plus we're moving towards a new moon. OMG. When I tell you I'm excited for everybody, I am really, if you, if you take advantage of it I'm telling you, you're going to be on the other side of this like wow I should have done this sooner so listen what I mean by that Aquarius Saturn one of your ruling planets are retrograde so it's really really helping you to focus on your ambitious side right so this is where you're going to be focusing on your long-term goals you're going to be creating those very healthy boundaries like be your yeses are yes no's are no's you're going to be very meticulous the whole nine yards because again you're focused on your ambition you got work to do right getting to this right here right which is just a resource money is a resource but also people and time are resources right are you using all of those resources wisely or are you wasting those resources we have 1440 minutes in 24 hours what are you going to do with that time what you got to ask yourself what are you going to do with that time are you going to waste it on somebody over here trying to figure out you know well i i'm, I'm a giver so I'm, I'm over giving and and they're not receiving okay if they don't want to receive what you're giving all this goodness that you're you're giving aquarius hey cut them off and keep it moving forward we also have neptune that's retrograde right now neptune is the planet of illusion so when neptune is retrograde that's it that's encouraging everybody to focus on your dreams dream bigger right you're a dreamer dream even bigger than that speak it into existence say exactly what it is you want boom watch it happen watch it that's how powerful we are as creators that's why i always remind everybody we are all gods right we are gods right then you have pluto that's retrograde which is the death rebirth planet that planet is encouraging us now while this retrograde is encouraging each and every one of us to continue decluttering are you afraid of something get it out your spiritual house or do you are um are you doubting yourself get that out of your spiritual house 
You walk by faith in the God and you not by sight. Come on now. Y'all know how to do this by now. Come on, come on. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Then you have Jupiter, which is the largest planet, right, in orbit. So that's the planet of expansion. So any projects that you put down, anything that you just may have like, you know, say, well, I'm not really sure, pick that project back up, breathe new life into it because moving towards this new, and this, and watch it take off, right? It's like speaking to your plants. Like, you know, I love plants. And so every morning I speak to my plants, I've given them all names and everything, you know, wash, you know, just, uh, you know, get the little water spray bottle or whatever, the plant food and everything and say good morning to them or whatever. And then all of a sudden, boom, they're growing, right? They happy. They're like, mommy came in here and spoke to us this morning. Hi. <laughs> But again, you want to water, you, you're planting seeds. That's what the new moon is all about. That's the quiet time. Because when you look in the sky, when we have the new moon, it's gonna look like just like a little slither in the sky, right? It's almost gonna look like it's just completely dark. Like where's the moon, right? It's there, it's a new moon, right? Brand new moon, right? So it's a new, new, new time to, to get some things off the ground, setting your intentions, right? This is what I, I'm, t I love, I'm telling you, when I tell you I love, 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 listen, so with the new moon, this is a time where you're going to be, like I said, you know, focusing on nurturing your plans, your ideas. This is where you're planting your seeds. You're writing down your intentions. Yes, indeed. You're also, you know, strategizing. You're envisioning where you want to go. You want to allow the answers to come through stillness. Again, you're an air sign through stillness. So information just comes out of the sky to you all. Or if you have heavy earth in your chart, you want to also, you know, understand that it's going to come through nature. Yes, go out and hug a tree. Go out and walk on the ground. Go outside and just do something. Get the stale energy off of you from the sunlight. Yes. Yes, sun is also medicine too. If you're feeling a little down and depressed about something, go take a walk and let that sun remove that stale energy from you. Even if it is cloudy outside, the sun is still out there. That's why it's bright, right? It's the sun out there, right? Also, um, it's a good time to come together and brainstorm with other people just to make sure you choose wisely and the energies are that and make sure that the energies that you're letting near you contain your own power as much as you need right so what i mean by that is that you got to also be careful of who you are sharing all your ideas and your creativeness with right yes because you're manifesting a great deal of money you're going to be I see you traveling i see you thinking about your past but i don't see you going back to your past look how big this window doesn't even fit on this car that's how many things are coming your way and i'm talking about man i to get ready aquarius get ready you don't want to repeat another cycle. You don't want to repeat. I see perfect synergy for you in the workplace. I'm telling you, you manifesting more money. I see you receiving an increase or a raise or something of some kind in your business. Your customer base is going to increase, you know, exponentially. Okay. When I tell you, if you have your own business, your business is really, really going to take off because I'm talking about customers coming from east, west, south, north, all over the place, coming to you, giving you more money. If you work, I can see you making more money and increase for you. I see perfect synergy for you in the workplace. Why? Because you, Aquarius, have done the work. This right here, you went from crying over a situation to crying because you can't believe how great your life is. Like, oh my God, I can't even believe my life. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot? <laughs> WTF. I what y'all was thinking. Right. But listen, this is where you're going to be like, okay, I, 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 I'm, I'm stuttering. I can't even believe my life right now. See, these, those sad tears have changed now to tears of joy, happiness. Like, I, but it's because of queries. I want, let's, let's make this crystal clear. It is not because you just sat around and wished and hoped. You had to put some action to it because remember, you all are very action oriented. For any for for any um, divine masculine signs to suppress how they really feel, it's going to come out in some low vibrating way because you feel like you got to suppress it, right? So instead of suppressing it, find creative ways. Remember, that's one of your strong suits is that you all are very creative. You're very unique. Find creative ways of getting that energy out of your spirit so you don't vibrate low, right? Find creative ways. Let's say you have a highly stressful job, okay? That job is not the end all and be all. It is a resource, but you are the source, right? They hired you based on your abilities. You got to remember, you didn't go to them begging for a job. You may have felt like at the time you needed the job because of, you know, your, your expenses and, you know, living situation or whatever. But make no mistake about it. You got the job because you were qualified. 
Make no mistake about it. Even when people wanted to say, oh, yeah, they got that job. Or they know this person. Or they know that person or whatever. Something you brought to the table got you that job, right? But not only did it get you the job, you have staying power. You got to remember who you are, Aquarius. You got to remember who you are. So, yes, those tears of pain and sadness are now tears of joy. Yes. Let me just pull one more card, a couple of more cards. I see some of you all looking for more windows of opportunity when it comes to money. Yes. So some of you all may be applying for higher level positions. Some of you all may be looking, if you're a creator, I mean, well, I know we all are creators, but if you have like a YouTube channel or you have like, or you're monetizing some digital platform or whatever, you're looking for other things like writing eBooks, you know, um, creating new content, being very creative with the content, but you're increasing your money. You're, you're increasing your, um, your, um, your money. And I also see that you genuinely care about people. You're a very logical person. Some of you all may have Taurus, Virgo, or um, Capricorn in your chart as well. But again, you are focused. I'm talking about laser focus on what you want to do. But again, it is because you did what? Decluttered, right? Death, rebirth, right? Let me also bring another example home. Let's say you work in an organization and you're dealing with people who are not on your same frequency. It doesn't make them bad, it doesn't make you better than they are, or them better than you are, or whatever. You're just not on the same frequency, right? You're gonna keep it at a very professional, hello, goodbye, good evening, or whatever. You're not going above and beyond trying to be friends with them, you know, bringing them lunch and talking about stuff that don't even really matter. You know they don't like you, whatever. You're not, you're not using that energy, that time. We remember we got 1,440, um, uh, minutes in a in 24 hours right so you're using your time wisely you're using your time wisely all they get is a hello and a goodbye that's it right so like I said for some of you all in your organization you know making sure you continue to declutter dead some of those situations and and welcoming new energy, new space, right? New new high higher vibration things, right? That's coming your way. So I see a lot of wonderful opportunities coming your way. When I tell you, just exciting Aquarius, very 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 exciting. So like I said, you become a lot more organized when you remove certain, when you intentionally remove certain things from your internal space. Your internal space, and meaning your spirit, your spiritual house, could be uh, removing fear, removing doubt, removing. Um, any kind of addictions whatsoever. When you remove all of that from your energy space, your, your thoughts become a lot more organized, a lot more logical. You feel you become a lot more patient with the process. Everything's clear. Everything is a go. So, like I said, we have Jupiter, we have Neptune, we have Saturn, and we have Pluto. That's retrograde right now. Amazing times. <laughs> Amazing times, right? You want to just take a deep breath, do some deep breathing. Right? Take some deep breathing, center yourself, calm, sit down somewhere, meditate, right? Because when I tell you these opportunities are about to really, really take off for you, Aquarius, that is not, I'm not even anywhere near joking, right? Move, uh, moving towards this new moon, like I said, you want to start thinking outside the box, things that's going to bring a solution to situations. You want to be more detached from situations that don't serve your highest purpose, right? You want to improve your karma also by doing some kind of charitable work. Yes, doing charitable work for an Aquarius who's a humanitarian is right up your alley. That's one of your life's purposes is doing charity work because you all are givers. So why give time and energy to somebody who doesn't like you or somebody who is committed to believing that you're phony or believing that whatever low body, that's family members, that's friends, that's colleagues, it doesn't matter who it is. Why give any more time and energy to that? Instead, give it to charitable organizations that are going to really appreciate it, being around people who truly appreciate it. You, you know the difference by now, Aquarius, when you give to somebody who truly appreciates. You can just, you can see it in their face. You can hear it in their voice. I mean, almost trembling. Thank you so much. You came through. You're an angel to me, right? You know that versus the person you do something for them. And they were like, well, I didn't ask you to do it anyway. All right. Aside from you about to go left on them and call them out their name and say, you know what? Okay. You had to step back from the situation, pull your power back and say, okay, you know what? You're right. You didn't ask me to do it. But 
in your spirit, you know, you'll never be able to come to me for another thing again. Not because you're holding a grudge, but because you are in the face of a person who's just chosen the, the, the lower vibration of themselves. Not your problem. You're just moving on, right? That is what I have for you, Aquarius. Continue to deep breathe deep. And like I said, there's some situations for you all, some of you all at work that are that really just need for you all just to give it no more power just completely ignore it all together because when i tell you the majority of the cards that i'm looking at here for you are money cards that is no joke i am not even kidding there are new opportunities for you all over the universe right and so i see a lot of money in your cards like i said you're genuinely definitely a caring person i see perfect synergy for you in the workplace i see you working in an environment where you don't have any more drama so please don't create drama by being an over giver or an over nurturer of some stuff that is already out of balance you don't want to do that okay aquarius that's what i have for you have a fantastic day but then again i know you will because that's the intention you set right yes bye